I am ready to go. My three snap caps. Hey Gun Geeks, it's Destiny from Fate of Destiny. And I'm out at McMillan Range again, and if you recognize, this is my friend Austin from In Extremist Consulting Group. He's done some videos with us before, teaching us a few uh, tack tips. Today, he's gonna talk a little bit about combat shotguns, which I'm excited about, because I don't get to spend a lot of time shooting shotguns. Basically, we're gonna talk about today combat shotgunning, and that uh, entails basically knowing the limitations and the and the positive uh, attributes of the shotgun, how to exploit them. Also, it centers on a lot of reloading because the guns only carry four rounds in the magazine. And also, we're going to talk about slug changeovers because you're running different ammo types is one of the major positives of running a shotgun. And today, Destiny has an 870 shotgun. I worked with them with the government. I also have a Mossberg 500, which I ran after I ran the Winchester 12. Uh, 100 trench guns. The nuances between the shotguns basically our slide release lever um, The Mossberg is back here. The safety is back here On the 870 the slide release is up here. The, the safety is right there at the back of the trigger guard And we've got little gadgets that will help help a lot with kind of shotgunning. The side saddle carrier will allow her to manage ammunition so she can you know load buckshot up and slugs down or something like that where I've got a speed feed stock so I can pull rounds from the stock and manage my ammunition from both sides. So I could carry slugs here and buckshot here. It only carries two rounds on each side, but it's a, it's a little bit of ammo. I think I'm gonna need to work on my arm strength for this video. So there's two methods of carrying your shotgun. You can either load the, the tube and uh, slide the pump so you have around the chamber and three in the tube, or you can top the tube off after you rack the pump and put one in the chamber. I think uh, running around with one round down in the tube is a lot uh, more realistic because it allows you to do a slug changeover by just throwing whatever ammunition type you want in the tube and racking the pump. But uh, to the people that are going to run with a round in the chamber or full tube, you're going to the, the, have a different procedure for doing a slug changeover. So say I'm fully loaded and I get that hostage situation that comes up, now I have to rack my pump and I lose a round, then I have to, what's called surfing a round out, and these are snap caps so they're lightweight. It's a little easier to do with a, with a live round because of the weight it carries. Then I come over the top, pull it in the port, and now I've got a slug changeover. But as you can see, you just lost the round you topped off. You made a more complicated procedure. So I say, load the tube, pump the gun, keep it simple. I, as you probably have noticed, am cross dominant, so long guns I shoot lefty, or as my brother likes to tease me, I'm backwards. So for those of you right-handed long gun shooters, Austin's going to demonstrate loading over the port. Bellissimo! <laughs> Excellent! That was way faster than me shooting! <laughs> So as I mentioned before, we're going to talk pros and cons of the shotgun, which is a very important part of employing a shotgun, is knowing what it can do, what it can't do. So I'm going to start with, uh, lead off with Destiny talking about the pros and cons of a shotgun for home defense scenarios. So I know many of you aren't necessarily coming from that law enforcement or military background, but you're a little bit more like me where you're considering a shotgun for home defense. I know several of my friends and just other people in the community who opt for a shotgun for a couple of different reasons. It works really well when you're working in you know, the confines of your home and the fact that it has limited penetration makes that actually a perk to using a, a shotgun as opposed to a rifle so you have, don't have to worry so much about like, going through walls and what might be beyond them. And the capabilities of the shotgun, especially if you're using shot ammunition, it can be really devastating on an individual attacker, you know, from the short range engagements. So, so really what she said is, is she's making some excellent points. Uh, the shotgun has been called 
uh, street sweeper or the ultimate street fighting tool. That's because it has the capability to launch 13 9 mm projectiles with one pull of the trigger to have devastating impact on target as opposed to a center fire system where you have to individually aim and fire every single round. That's that's the pro for the shotgun and the, sh the limited penetration is great for the home defense scenario. The uh, the racking of the of the slide and the and the noise that it that it makes. That's uh, very recognizable, even if you don't know anything about guns. Three warns an intruder that hey, I've got a shotgun and I'm ready to uh, defend my my home. I am ready to go. My three snap caps. In threat. And how to take it. Much better. There we go. I took my time with it. So we've put together a little crazy for instance that demonstrates the capabilities of the shotgun at close range. And this is, uh, we've got an undercover agent inside a drug house. There's an alley. Uh, we're moving in the alley. Two uh, armed guards attack our agent here. And then our uh, undercover agent is taken hostage by a drug lord. And we need to make one change over and get the drug lord without damaging our trade. So those white targets, those are our drug <laughs> yeah. pin you know, our drug pins and <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're using <laughs> we're the, white, the white side <laughs> for our drug pink pins because uh, we want to be able to see the effect of the rounds on the target with more contrast. Alright, let's run this. Drug Lord! <laughs> Success! So our first drug house guard pulled a Tech-9 and Destiny was able to deliver that shotgun lethality. Uh, that's about 22 uh, pellets on target, it looks like, and he went down. Meanwhile, we had our second uh, drug guard uh, pull a Jennings 25, which uh, bought her a little bit of time because it jammed, <laughs> and she took him out. Then we moved over to our hostage taker, and she had an A-zone hit in the face, and uh, our agent's safe. Gotta look out for my guys. <laughs> it was good. It was great. <laughs>